Heaven's California Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another FIFA 18 video, but today's video is going to be a little different uh, today um, for a reason that you will see later on. Now, as I said, we're going to start off these videos by number one, taking a look at the poll in the video if there is one, and then number two, having a look at some comments and answering some of them. I do answer comments in the comments section, but I'll always put them in the start of the next video as well. So, the poll yesterday was as followed. Uh, keep Ducore or drop him, and actually there was one vote, I actually just had to vote keep just to, to see what the the vote was, and uh, someone su said that I should drop him for Aaron Moy. Now, Aaron Moy at the moment is still kicking around the same amount of price. Now, you will see my coin total has gone up a little bit. That is because I made uh, about 20,000 coins or so from selling off my... What's it called? My Begovic's. Begovic did get the goalkeeper award, so that is uh, very nice. That does put us up to nearly. If we make another twenty thousand coins, we will get ourselves five million transfer profit, which is very, very tasty indeed. Um, and that's going to be the the vote for today. I think the vote for today is going to be: Do I go in and try and get this uh, Asmir Begovic? I'm going to go and get the Wolfred Zahar. I'm just going to put him in because it's a it's a striker there and he's been okay for me at the moment. Um, do I go ahead and spend the money on this Begovic? Now, I think he's costing around 30k at the moment. The requirements aren't too bad for him. You know, we're going to need a bosnia Herzegovina player, a Bournemouth player, 84 rated team. I could basically just throw some of my Premier League players in there and get that up because the only team I'm going to be using is this one from now on. Uh, quickly in online seasons, we are a win away. We just need another win in uh, Division 3 to get promoted. We win the last two. Uh, we win the title. Um, in terms of if I'm going to play them on camera, probably not. I'm probably going to play them off camera. Um, so we'll have a look at the comments that were left on yesterday's video as so. And they all come from the same guy, Matthias Borgley again. Coming in with the comments. Uh, the first one he put, which would have been, uh, I'm guessing, this third bottom one down there. Says, do you ever play career mode and what are your thoughts on career mode? Now, I have played a few career modes on the channel before. Um, we've done what? We've done a Manchester United one way back. We did another Manchester United one. We did a Wickham one on FIFA 17. Then FIFA 18, we did... Uh, we finished a Manchester United full season and we got about two seasons in to the Wickham Wanderers one and then we just kind of stopped and came back onto Ultimate Team. Um, I think career mode is fun for maybe like a season and then it just starts to get a little bit dry because of the lack of investment that EA put into it. Um, but, you know, I do understand that. The, the, the sad thing is, is that a lot of YouTubers out there actually do require career mode to actually you know make content from and you know make a living from and i don't think ea really realizes that too often and uh, he also says here i think ea prioritizes the wrong things like the new champions league stuff but i love the video and you are a very underrated youtuber now i can comment on the top thing um i think ea i think it's a little bit of a joke that ea put so much time and effort into making the journey and then uh, they just stop, which is, you know, the the journey mode, literally, it's not like a mode that's going to last you two or three months. It's going to last you one or two weeks at most, depending on how much you play the game. There's normally about five chapters, and each chapter's about two hours long. So you play, I think I finished the journey last year in about three or four days, which for a game mode where they're putting so much time and effort into, it. It's just a little bit eh, isn't it? But um, as he said, he loved the video, so thank you very much for that. And says I'm a very underrated YouTuber. Not really for me to comment on, you know, I just sit here and make videos for you all. And then he said, one last thing, how the hell do you have a, such a good team? My friend, I have a good team for two, three reasons. Number one, playing the game. 
Number two, trading. And number three, packing a Cristiano Ronaldo worth 1.8 million back in December and trading with those coins as well. Um, as I show you, to you my transfer profit. Okay then, so today, as I said, there's going to be the poll there. Uh, buy Begovic or stick with David De Gea. The team hasn't changed. Um, Zaha's coming up to his loan. I will get him after this video. Um, I have done the marquee matchups. I did a... I got the reward for winning seven games on the weekly objectives. I did the FIFA, or the FIFA Ultimate Team 09 SBC that I could do with players at my club. And I've also got some bronze players pack or something, I think. But you can possibly make a couple of thousand coins from, depending on the players that we get. So, we're just going to skip through because I doubt we're going to get anything decent from it. Anyway, we get uh, Kaki. I doubt any of these are worth anything, really, are they? No. I mean, they don't seem to be from leagues that... I mean, this guy possibly. Is there an Austrian league? I don't think there is. No, no. All of them are trash, so we'll just store it all in the club. I mean, if I was being picky, I would... I started going through my club and getting rid of all their bronzes and silvers and started recycling the golds um, into just getting packs and stuff. Didn't really get anything from them, and they're untradeable, so I just kind of held off of it. But we have seven special packs here, then. We have a Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. We have two of them. A Premium Gold Players Pack. A Prime Gold Players Pack. Two Prime Gold Players Packs, actually. An Election Players Pack and a Rare Election Players Pack. So we'll start off with the Jumbo Premiums. This is where we did pack a Ronaldo last time around. So, and we're just going to get dim pins. People are saying that the pack weight have, or has actually gone down. Or that EA have brought it back down, it seems like. So... I don't know what's happening there, whether that's for me to comment or not, I don't know. We get Lustenberg there, Jimenez, Gomez, Barrett, Seiss, and Berhardi, so we'll store all that, and then we'll discard all that. Uh, we get another Jumbo Premium. Today is the last day where all the cards are in packs, and I think this could be the final day of Ultimate Team actually being relevant. Um, after today, I think it'll just go... Down, down the pan, really, um, to be quite frankly with you. I think, would it really hurt EA to just leave the packs like this until the end of FIFA 18, until the FIFA 19 demo comes out? Not really. I mean, they get, they're not going to release any new content for the game any, anyway. I'm guessing MLS Team of the Season is probably going to be around the corner. That was our untradeable pack there. These are, I think these are the marquee matchups ones. So um, yeah, it's not like the, it's not like EA, or it's, it's like it's not like FIFA 19 is just around the corner. We have another what month ish into all of the get transferred Hohimia there. He might be worth a little bit. Uh, he's worth about two thousand coins. Nothing special really, is it? We'll put all these up and just see what they do. Pop all them up. We're not worried about getting any coins and stuff. I have to get used to doing this again. You know, actually listing cards up instead of just discarding them. Because I could have got maybe a couple of hundred thousand more coins doing that this year around. But, you know, it's not like the FIFA 19 is just around the corner. We have another month at least, or around a month, until we have any new FIFA content. So... I think it's a little bit of a shame that we don't get any other, you know, we're not going to get any other promo. I'm guessing we might get MLS Team of the Season, I don't know. Um, but there's definitely not going to be any other promo, you know, Footies is the last promo of the year, unfortunately. I just think that it'd be worth just saying, you know what, we'll just throw every single card back into packs of the best player, and then, or each player's best card gets thrown back into packs. I mean... I don't think it's anything substantial, you know, I don't think it would be bad for them to do that. We have a lot of duplicates here. An absolute ton of dupes. Look at them all. Just look. Look at all of these. But um, I am a little bit worried for FIFA 19 if EA don't... Especially not so much the gameplay, because I think the gameplay I was... Reading a couple of threads on 
Twitter yesterday with Nepenthes and all that, and they were saying that, you know, are people just using the... or people just going in saying, oh, the gameplay sucks. Are they just using that as an excuse for, them for being bad at the game? You know, the, the pro players don't seem to have too much of an issue with it, and nor have I, really. I think there is moments where the gameplay is a little bit inconsistent, but if you hate the game that much, why are you still here playing it? You know what I mean? Um, last pack here, then. We haven't really got anything from this at all, have we? It's been pretty di yeah, all pretty diabolical packs again. Um, it wouldn't have hurt them to put up the pack lock, would it, for this final part as well? You know, just let people get the team they want to get. But um, by the time all that's sold, then, we're selling 23 items. I think we got Shea Fate or... Uh, yeah, Shea Facey, isn't it? Yeah, Shea Facey. Still trying to sell him. Hopefully some of these cards do get bought. If not, I'll probably just min list them and hope for the best. But um, we're not going to be playing a game on FIFA today. We're actually going to be hopping over to its counterpart. If you didn't know already, the PES 2019 demo is here. And uh, there we go, there's my FIFA 19 pre-ordered. We have got the PES 2019 demo. Now, I did play the PES 2018 demo last year. I did a couple of videos on that. I'm not going to do a couple of videos on this one. I'm just going to play a game and we'll see how it feels. But um, it's kind of, you know, PES was always the, the go-to football game. And then either PES got bad or EA just stepped up with FIFA and FIFA got better. But Konami, you know, they've lost the rights to the Champions League now as well. That's the only thing they've got that, or they had over FIFA 18, or, yeah, FIFA 18, or FIFA in general. You know, they are the partner of Barcelona, so I think they'll still have the rights to the new camp, or the Camp Nou, and I don't think EA will, but I don't... Are they people that really prefer Pez to, to FIFA? I don't know. Um, but there we go. We start the game then. I know the controls are a little bit different on this. Um, I think the the major... Yeah, we'll have that. Thank you. Uh, special controls. RB... Low pass pressure. Goalkeeper runs towards the ball. Yep, cursor change, LB, yep, manual controls. It's on LT, player movement, LS. Yeah, so Pez is played on Norse alternate. Or Pez is played on FIFA's alternate. But um, I think the, the, the thing is with Pez is that a FIFA obviously has the ultimate team game mode, which does swing it in its way, kind of. The brightness all seems fine. The title uses also say feature. Yep, that's fine. I'm guessing they're going to have a couple of teams, but honestly, not many. I mean, do PES even have the right to... to, um... certain football clubs anymore? I don't know if they do, to be honest. Oh, God! The team rosters that are contained in the demo version are primarily based on 2018 May data. Please note that due to licensing some players on the team rosters, I am going to have to mute that because that is going to get copyrighted. Uh, some of the players on the team roster who are contained in the demo version might not be on the team roster of the retail version. You can play the game with the latest... Yeah, whatever. So we have exhibition match, plan online quick match. And they got a co-op match. Uh, la, 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 la. What's on extras? Online information. Yeah. Can we log into the PES 2019 server? Probably not, right? Ah, uh, really? I, I have to click on that to get it to agree. Ah. Oh. 
Yes, I've confirmed. Let me log me. What the heck is going on? Honestly. What is going on right now? User create, user data created. Hurry up and load, please. I'm not pre downloading my Legend Edition. I've already got Legend Edition of FIFA. I do not need another. We'll just go into an exhibition match. I might go into a cart match. Who knows? Um, we'll confirm that. What teams have we got then? We've got Liverpool, Barcelona, Schalke, Inter Milan, uh, AC Milan, Monaco, Sao Paulo, Flamengo, Palmeiras, Argentina, France, and Colo Colo. I'm going to play as Liverpool, and I'm going to go up against Barcelona. Match time is set to 5 minutes. Match length in full version can be set freely. Uh, let's go to game plan, I guess. This is where... Yes, thank you. Okay, so what we got? Do, uh, we don't even have Alisson, do we? Oh, Christ. Do you have to use Karius? Okay. Robertson, look at Van Dyke's rating here. He's rated 87. Okie dokie. Um, we got Milner there, Henderson and Chamberlain. Seems about right, I suppose. I would have rather played with Barcelona, shouldn't I? Because they haven't really signed anyone, and Liverpool have. And then we have Mane, Roberto, and Salah. Um, in terms of team, that's all we can really do, isn't it? Oh, hang on. We got some more, some more geezers here. Um, I'm gonna put Matip on for Dayan Lovren. I'm going to use Nathaniel Klein for Trent. Yeah, we'll do that. Simple tactics, go to normal game plan. Okay, well, I guess that's what we're doing. We're at the camp now, there's the team sheet. Let's just kick this off, I guess. The music's quite funky, but you guys won't be able to hear anything because it's probably copyrighted and I don't want the video to be copyrighted in countries either so I'm not going to do that okay then here we go camp new nice the graphics are okay actually they're not too bad I can put the game sound back on for you now here we go so let's have a look then graphics why is Jordan Henderson so small I'll use it. Okay. Iniesta shouldn't be playing, but oh well. You know, <laughs> it's just pairs things. Liverpool flags out. Barcelona fans up there. Woo! Liverpool lineup. It's not a bad lineup, to be fair. Not a bad lineup. It's not a great lineup, but. It's not a bad one. The the graphics around are actually quite nice. Barcelona, Rakitic, Coutinho, yeah, Jordi Alba, too. PK, Roberto, De Stegen. Yeah, not bad, not bad so far, is it? Let's see how the game plays though. Um, I would normally do it live, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'll chop it up a little bit. But uh, we'll do the first couple of minutes live. What? Attacking forward. Okay. Seems okay so far. Oh, no, it doesn't. It really doesn't. Can we do like the... Oh, here we can. Look. Bang. Go on, James. James Milner. On the ball. Plays in Sadio Mane. Mane. Takes the shot. Oh, what a strike. From Sadio Mane, look at that, here we go. Whoa, yeah, whoa, yeah, whoa, yeah, whoa, yeah. Now there's great assist from James Milner there. Tucks him in. That's an insane finish it's finished from Sadio Mane. What a strike. Oh, how do I get rid of this? End. Okay, there we go. 1 0. The game feels okay. Um. ish I guess it doesn't feel fantastic but you know I'm not a Pez player I'm sure 
a PES player out there would be more inclined to play the game. Ah, oh, that's a great run from Mo Salah. Salah! Ooh. How does the corners work? I'm guessing it's still the same. But can we skip this? I wish skip was A. Why is it the start button? Adjust the direction using L stick. Uh, hold it down for more distance. You can curl the ball. Oh my god. Yeah, not too sure about the corners there. Um, I think it might be our ball though. It is fantastic. It's Bobby for me. Okay, driven shot doesn't work. Driven shot does not work on pairs. I don't know if they have such a thing as driven shot, but I tried to drive that, and that was that was fucking that fucking went. That was gone. There we go then. Half time. Um, yeah, it's. I just don't really like it to be honest. I don't like the whole pressing start to to try and do this. Don't know what the the difficulty is, but um. Yeah, I'm, I'm just not a Pez type of guy. I'm more of a FIFA guy. But, you know, I always come onto the demo and just feel how the game is. But, um, yeah, I just thought we'd give it a go today, really. And, lesson learned, FIFA still feels better than Pez. Simple as that. Here we go, then. Nathaniel, why, why is he just not running? You know, he's not sprinting. He's not sprinting on the ball. Look, they don't like sprinting on the ball. They're like, nah, we'd rather not, thanks. Salah! Oh, damn it. That, I don't even think that was Salah, was it? The crosses are interesting, to say the least. Oh, long shots, are they good? Oh, not really. Not as OP as FIFA, are they? I feel the power button fills up a lot faster on Pez. Than it does on. FIFA to be fair. I think the power bar just whizzes up. And that was a shocking corner. What the hell. There we go. That's full time. We get. A goal with Sadio Mane. And that is about it. But uh. Yeah. If I was to say. Graphically. I think the game is pretty good. Everything else. Just isn't really for me um, if I'm being honest there is a severe difference now obviously Pez still has people that play Pez um, there are obviously people out there who do play Pez otherwise uh, they would keep releasing the game every year but when you know I'm, I'm guessing Pez might have 10 5 10 million players playing We'll turn that music off. Um, I'm guessing FIFA has like 100, 200 million players. So, yeah, I, I, I just don't really think it's for uh, for me, Pez. I don't think it's something I'd really get into playing. Um, the, the soundtrack on the demo is pretty good. But, um, yeah, I, uh, it's interesting... You know how much would, how much is their ultimate edition of their game worth compared to EA? It's worth seventy pound, and you get the the David Beckham, which is why he's not there. Now, obviously, Pez comes out about a month before FIFA, which is if you want a new football game to play, I guess you'd go and play Pez. But I think I'd rather stick on FIFA, to be honest. Um, it looks like they got a couple good stadiums there, but uh, it's just not for me. You know, we, they've got skills and stuff. I don't really know how to play pairs, so yeah, the, uh, yeah. Ultimately, I think graphically, pairs is fantastic, but everything else for me, gameplay-wise, doesn't really cut it for me. That's just for me personally. You know, I'm not even in there. I'm barely in the camera right now. I'm sitting a while back. I'm guessing it's because of the of the light and stuff shining through. Yeah, probably not the best lighting. But, um, yeah, I, I, I just don't know. I don't know. FIFA, 
for me, will always be superior to Pez nowadays. But, um, you know, let me know. Does anyone play Pez in the comments section down below? I think the last Pez I played was about 2007, and you could just continually get a player sent off injured and then he just come back up come back on, on the stretch and I think I played that on the Nintendo Wii as well which was a bit of a, uh, a throwback but you know they have you know you got my club there as well I mean I'm not going to sit here and say I'm going to buy Pez because I'm not I'm not playing Pez you know but they have some decent some decent legends there look they got David Beckham as well which is Pretty nice, and he looks pretty on point, David Beckham, to be fair. But, um, yeah, I think that's where we are going to end this one then, guys. If you did enjoy, please remember to leave a like. Remember to leave a vote on the poll as well. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Turn notifications on. Leave a comment down below. I'll answer it in the comment section, and I'll include it in the start of tomorrow's video. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Stay awesome. Stay happy. I've been David. This has been FIFA 18 slash Pez 2019. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Goodbye.